This is as close as we can get to the base of the World Trade Center. You can see the firemen assembled here, the police officers, FBI agents, and you can see the two towers. A huge explosion now, raining debris on all of us. We better get out of the way. Even uh, just on a, a plain windy day, that this material blew through in a way that was really unimaginable. It was uh, truly frightening. Uh, it continued to rain down for several minutes, as you can see there, and, and the winds just whipped through these corridors uh, for several minutes. Eventually... It's a big plane, but it must be an observation plane. It must be a fire plane. And I thought of the wildfires out west. Maybe it's bringing in water, you know, to fight the fire exactly. in the billing. Maybe it's bringing in water, you know, to fight the fire exactly. in the billing. The concept that it was going to hit the tower is so foreign to all of us that, that you couldn't believe what you were seeing. And, and I still didn't believe it after it happened. Uh, Diane. Less than an hour later, the South Tower came crumbling down. It collapsed. Less than an hour later, the South Tower came crumbling down. It collapsed. Back now on Eyewitness News with a look at the latest video from Tuesday's tragedy in Manhattan, the now familiar scene of the World Trade Center Twin Towers collapsing. CBS reported just moments ago. They are now concerned about the possibility of a second collapse. I I'm still desperately confused, John, about what may have caused the building to, to collapse. Um, As you watch <clears throat> the videotape, it appeared to buckle from the middle, from the point of <clears throat> impact and, um, and collapse, which uh, not, you know, with no background in architecture, I don't know about the structural vulnerability, but as you, as you see, debris just starts to, to peel fall, away. then it cracks, and then it just goes straight down. But the entire, at least as far as I can see, the top half of the building, at least half of it, I can't see below that, half of it just started with a gigantic rumble, folded in on itself, and collapsed in a huge plume of smoke and dust. If you wish to bring uh, anybody who's ever watched a building being demolished on purpose knows that if you're going to do this, you have to get at the, at the under infrastructure of a building and bring it down. Peter? Yes, Dan. Uh, what, what appeared to happen from my vantage point, the top part of the building was totally involved in fire and there was, it, there appeared to be no effort possible to put that fire out. It looked like the top part of the building was so weakened by the fire that it just, the weight of it collapsed the rest of the building. That's what appeared to happen. I did not see anything happening at the base of the building. It all appeared to start at the top and then just collapse the rest of the building by the sheer weight of the top. There was no explosion or anything at the base part of it, but I, I did see that the top part of it started to, to collapse. The walls started to bulge out, bricks, glass things coming, coming out, and then it collapsed in on itself, and it appeared to just fold down from there, from the very top. Thanks, Don, very much. Did you see either one of the buildings collapse? Yes, I did. About 10 to 20 blocks up, I stopped to catch my breath. I turned and looked around. The Southern World Trade Center began to just buckle about 50 consecutive bangs and it went, fell down like a waterfall. See what you could hear? You could hear the steel bending. You could hear the one. The second tower hit has collapsed. And now that's the second tower. And we believe that was the one hit higher up. Uh, we do not control this camera. It is from New York City. But the Associated Press is reporting that the second tower has collapsed. We don't know if that's a complete collapse, a partial collapse, 
or whatever. We hope to see it soon. Once again, you're looking at Tower 2, and this was the first one hit uh, just after 9 o'clock this morning. Well, that certainly would not be a surprise given the level of damage in the fire and the fact that firefighters are unable to fight that fire because it happened so high up on the building. So it certainly would not be surprising if, if there is a collapse, partial or total. And I don't think our reaction was that the buildings would fall, and that's why we maintained under the pedestrian overpass, which is only about 100, maybe 150 yards from the first building. I don't think anybody was thinking the buildings might fall. We'd been told that these buildings were tested for a 707, and and all of that, I mean, good grief, of course we didn't think it was going to fall. The fire trucks and the cops were right under there. As that thing started to collapse, it was, when it began to come down, the, the as you've heard uh, Commissioner Safer indicate, the bomb squad was in, fire personnel, ambulance personnel had entered. About 15 minutes after they made their entry, uh, we heard a boom. I don't know if that was the infrastructure that was going or another explosion, and we looked up, and it, uh, you know, I, I can't even describe it. Um, it's not even like a movie. It was so surreal. It just came towering towards us.